stopped being closed for more than a month, Zion National Park reopened today for day use recreational access only in select areas within the park. ABC 4's Katie Corrales met with park rangers this morning who discussed their efforts to keep the public and their employees safe during the pandemic. Now, on the first day of reopening here at Zion National Park, we saw quite the turnout. Parking lots were nearly full, trails were packed. But park officials say during the COVID 19 pandemic, public safety remains their top priority. Park officials say many services won't be available, and the park is only open during daylight hours. As much as folks love Zion, this may not be the best time to come just because so many people want to be here. I feel safe right here, so yeah, it's not that like crowded. As um, before, the park asks visitors to continue following COVID 19 health guidelines. If folks aren't social distancing, if there's too many crowds, those will be the triggers for rolling back some of those things until we can get the situation under control. Rangers say Zion's shuttle operation remains suspended, and the limited parking spots in Zion Canyon will typically be full between 8 and 10 a.m., possibly even earlier on the weekends. Park officials say there is a possibility that the Zion Mount Carmel Highway could be closed temporarily in the case of severe traffic congestion. Rangers say they will turn away traffic at Canyon Junction. Other park closures include the chain section of Angels Landing, the Canyon Overlook Trail, Colip Canyons, Zion Lodge, the Narrows due to high water flow, and the Weeping Rock area. Park rangers say they will issue citations if people head to closed trails, and even saw a few hikers today at Angels Landing. It's just that we were in a position where we didn't want to be the place that, that was vectoring the virus. Rangers say that ultimately visitor safety is their own responsibility and park officials want to make sure the public has alternate plans in Zion's gateway communities if they can't get in the park. Now park officials say the guidelines that went into effect today will last until at least May 21st and at that point new guidelines could be issued. We'll keep you updated as soon as we learn more. Reporting in Zion National Park, Katie Kralis, ABC4 News.